In the previous video, I showed you the image widget and the placeholder widget. Now I'm going to show you an extra special one. It's the dynamic panel. Uh, I'm going to create a new page. We'll call it dynamic panel. And it has an extra feature. If I double click there, let's go to our library. Um, the images are up here. Dynamic panel is actually near the bottom here. So I'm going to drag that across. If you go to preview after dragging it across, it's actually invisible. It has nothing on it. Um, I've zoomed out of here so we can see all those drop down menus again. Um, so I apologize if it's a bit smaller than the other videos. To add an image here, it's very similar to the placeholder widget. Again, we go to the inspect pane, we scroll down and you can see we've got fill. Um, so I'm going to click on image, we will select an image, just move that over here. Um, I'm going to select Seaford Beach Pier, click OK. Now you can see again, just like our placeholder widget, it is cropped off most of our image. So I will resize it from the middle. I will also select stretch to cover. So again, stretch to cover crops out anything that doesn't fit in the aspect ratio. Stretch to contain adds a bit of a space. I'm going to choose stretch to cover. I'll also make this a little bit bigger. So I've got that now. Let's make it a bit longer. Okay, so that's made it higher. And you can see how that hasn't um, mucked about with the aspect ratio of the photo itself, it just crops off what I don't need. So that's pretty much the same as the placeholder widget, except we don't have that dynamic, uh, sorry, that um, diagonal line happening across it. You can also see that as I increase and decrease the browser size, it stays the same size. And in fact, if I made the browser size small enough, it would start cropping off my image. So what's the special thing that a dynamic panel does? If I select that, you will see up in the inspector pane, we have 100% wide browser only. Browser only indicates you're not gonna see this in the workspace, you only see it in the browser. Let's have a look to see what effect this has. Preview, and suddenly it is literally 100% of the browser width. And as we resize our page, it resizes the picture. So it is always resizing from the center. Just remember that in a very large browser, uh, you see how here it's starting to look a bit pixelated because I've optimized it. Um, you need to optimize it at a larger size, say 1500 to 2500 pixels so that you can avoid that happening. If you're trying to do something 100% wide and you have optimized it to 800 pixels wide, it's going to look pretty rubbish. So that is the difference of the dynamic panel. Dynamic panels are pretty awesome. Um, if I drag another one across, let's say I want to have text on a colored background. I can fill it with a color, so maybe a light green, and put um, text on there. So I might try to choose an H2 and say this is a heading. Okay, let's preview that. And remember, you're putting relevant stuff on there, so that doesn't really do much for us. Go back here, choose your dynamic panel, 100% wide browser only. Let's preview that. And there we go, we have a really nice colourful panel there we can put information on. And later on you'll learn how to do scrolling effects where these can go at, uh, move at different speeds so it looks like they're moving on top of each other.